every global entrepreneur needs to take the US market very seriously. This is a thriving and lucrative market for entrepreneurs if you're ready to stay committed. Hey guys, this is Anouk Menon with Confiance Global here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I keep getting asked how exactly I build my business in the US because I initially started in India. What was the process like and how the immigration everything worked for me? First of all, this is my story as well as the Confiance Global story as well. Disclaimer, this is not professional immigration advice. For all your immigration needs, you need to hire a really good immigration attorney here in the U.S. I'll be happy to provide a referral to the immigration attorney that I use from Charlotte. I started my business in India in 2008. Most of our customers from U.S. and Australia and different other countries. I first visited the United States on a FICI delegation group uh, through which actually we travel all across different states like Texas, Maryland, California, New York, Charlotte, etc. I noticed that many people in my group were trying to grab some business deals and go back to India. We were surrounded by the best business people, government representatives, politicians, both state and federal, everywhere we went as a part of the delegation. I was focused more on understanding and learning more about the market. I had extended my trip by two weeks so that I could visit some of our customers here in the US and also some additional networking in general. So I went to different cities uh, to meet with my customers. Everywhere I went, I was actually doing more research on the cost of living, the taxes, both state and federal, as well as like, hey, what are the salary ranges for people, actually if you're setting up a business and hiring people here in the US. Being a small company bootstrapped in India, I was 100% clear that the big cities by San Francisco or New York were completely way out of the league for me because I would actually go bankrupt if I hire people there because we're a startup. I recorded every bit of those data and made it into a spreadsheet so that I can refer and understand like which city I should focus on. New York and California completely out of the picture. I took another trip to the US. This time I actually tried like the different tier two cities. That's how I landed up at Charlotte, North Carolina. A lot of things in this state attracted me. For example, the quality of life versus the cost of living. Charlotte has really good connectivity to all across the US as well as Europe. This was a really good attraction because the airport actually connected well with every place. Another thing that attracted me the most in North Carolina was the fact that the number of manufacturing companies, which is a target market segment for us, and also the impeccable Southern hospitality. People love you here. On this trip, I made the decision to incorporate Confiance as a subsidiary here in the US. I sat down with two different immigration attorneys, both from Charlotte, to understand more about the process. The first attorney offered like the first conversation is 100% free, and the second one said like, okay, we are going to charge you $300 for a one hour meeting. I was impressed with the immigration attorney who actually charged me the $300 because the owner himself actually sat down with me and clearly explained like how the process will work. We decided that we will apply for a L1A uh, transfer visa for me. Uh, what L1A does is as the CEO of the company, I'll be moved from India to the US to set up the subsidiary and grow it and hire more American employees and grow it to the next level. Uh, we used a process called premium filing with the US Citizenship and Immigration Services and we got the approval in like 20 days. Doing business in US is much more easier and seamless compared to doing business in India. There was no red tape, all the paperwork, whether it's federal or state, everything was smooth and it was all easy to deal with government here. One of the main difference that I saw once we are a US corporation is the fact that our customers started taking us really seriously because they're having a contract with a US company. They know who we are. They actually met my employees. So they know like they are dealing with a US company and which increased our sales and growth in general. I started traveling a lot within the US and we had 125% growth in the next five years, which was just amazing. 
we kept investing every dollar back to hire more employees in the US while also growing uh, people in, in, in our Indian office. I know all this actually sounds like easy and straightforward, but there were a lot of hardships too. There were months or years that I couldn't see my family who were back in India unless they actually joined me here back in 2015. If you are an international entrepreneur and want to expand to another country, you should definitely consider the United States. This is the land of the opportunities. Americans accept and appreciate entrepreneurs as far as they are honest, they are ready to work hard and most importantly they keep up their promises. I hope this video was helpful. If you are watching this on YouTube, please click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon so that you will get a notification when we come out with new videos like this. Thank you for watching. We appreciate your time.